Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, and welcome to CEOL Conversations. I'm Marvin Fausto, President of CEOL Investment Management. This webinar series brings you closer to the leaders of different businesses and known experts in markets and investing. Today, I'm very excited since we have the honor and privilege to have a conversation with none other than the successful businessman and former Senator Manny Villar, two of his children, Camille and Paolo, and, and listen to their views on the country's growing retail industry and their vision for their group. We will also talk about the latest IPO all day with the senior executives of all day and how they are changing the landscape of supermarket experience and their strategy for the coming years. So um, I think we will have four speakers uh, today and uh, and also we have a lot of uh, discussions later in the Q&A. But uh, let me try to introduce our speakers uh, for today, the one that's going to make the presentation. So first, we have uh, Camille Villar. She's the vice chairman and the director of Vista Malls and Golden MV Holdings Inc. Aside from that, she is the concurrent president of All Value Holdings and the vice chairman of All Home Corporation. Camille Villar is also currently a congresswoman of Las Piñas. Joining her will be uh, Jacqueline Magno, uh, Jacqueline Cano, the chief operating officer of All Day. Um, she started the retail uh, experience as a district manager of for Abenson in the 90s and was also regional manager of Metro Gaisano from 2011 and 2015. Next, we have Rosalie um, Coloma, president and CEO of All Day Marts. Prior to her current position, she was the CFO of Vista Malls Golden and Golden MB Holdings Inc. and all Home Corporation. She currently sits as the director of All Home Corp and Golden MV Holdings Inc. So we have three ladies here. And then uh, also we will be joined, uh, also we'll be doing the presentation as well. It's Mr. Paolo Villar, another director of All Day. Paolo joined the Vista Land Group in 2001 as head of corporate planning, then became the CFO of the company in 2008. Two years after that, he was elected president and CEO of the company in July 2011, and also president of Vista Malls Inc. in June 2019. And uh, of course, uh, we will be joined also in the Q&A, none other than our uh, distinguished guest. And it's an honor for us to be joined by Sir Manny, Manny Villard, former Senate President and Chairman of All Day. Sir Manny was Senator of the Philippines from 2001 to 2013. He also served as Senate President from 2006 to 2008. He started retail business in the early 1970s when he founded Camellia Homes and successfully managed said company over the years to become the largest home builder in the Philippines, now known as the Vista Land Group. He is also the concurrent chairman of Vista Malls, Inc., All Home Corporation, All Value Holdings Corp., and Golden MV Holdings, Inc. So, and last but not the least, we will also be joined by Christina Ortina Barao, All Day's Treasurer, Chief Financial Officer, and Compliance Officer. She was previously the chief accountant of Camellia Homes and other companies under Vistaland. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome All Day for their presentation. Hi, uh, good afternoon to everyone. Um, thank you so much for allowing us to present the concept of All Day Supermarket uh, to you today. We are very, very excited about it. So the business concept of All Day actually comes to light from our group's efforts to look around the Asian region and around the world 
for innovative ways to bring the world's best closer to the Filipino people. Uh, through our trips, um, benchmarking trips abroad uh, with our chairman and the rest of the group in Europe, Australia, the Americas, and Asian countries like Thailand, Malaysia, and Korea, it became clear that the retail experience had evolved. And this elevated experience that we saw in other parts of the world is actually what inspired us to form the concept of all-day supermarket and what sets it apart from the local industry. We saw that uh, consumers showed preference for better, albeit slightly pricier items. Premiumization was definitely happening all over the world, especially in the countries with a rising middle class like the Philippines. In this, our chairman saw opportunities as local retail players were similarly positioned with price as the primary driver. We used this insight to calibrate the all-day model in the first few years of our operations, listening to customers and taking inputs from our suppliers. With the market moving towards premiumization, our unique all-day experience continues to be validated. We have long believed that Filipinos deserve a better shopping experience as we are all witnesses to rising global standards as we have a lot of uh, Filipino expats working abroad, uh, overseas Filipinos that have come back and also in our local population, the young people, it became increased, it was easier pre-pandemic to travel around the world and so they were able to see this upgraded standards and we felt that this was something that they may be looking for and were ready for here in the Philippines. We believe that premiumization will gain a strong foothold in the Philippines and we believe that All Day is in the best position to cater to this. We take pride in providing these consumers with an elevated grocery shopping experience. Our strengths rooted in our premium experiences and services, as well as our predisposition towards innovation, have translated into us becoming the fastest growing supermarket operator in the Philippines, registering a CAGR growth of 63% and establishing ourselves as a leader in the mid-premium supermarket segment. Today, we have 33 stores in 25 cities and municipalities, and we plan to grow to 100 stores by 2026. We built our business model with innovation as a key pillar. We continue to seek out innovative ways to serve our customers. We were the first to introduce um, self-checkout kiosks because this was something that we saw in other parts of the world that was happening in Australia and in the United States. And here it improves health and safety protocols. Our personal shopper service, an initiative born from the same need, was hailed by Euromonitor as a regional pioneer in on-demand service. Our e-commerce e platform, www.allday.com.ph, was launched at the height of the pandemic in June 2020. This allowed us to provide a best-in-class online shopping experience when it was needed most by our customers. The capability of this platform was further improved through our dark stores, which served to complement our physical stores in widening our e-commerce reach. To supplement our platform, we also established presence in the country's leading third-party marketplaces and on-demand service providers. Our modern grocery business through our in-store and online channels offers approximately 3,600 local and international product brands under three key categories, fresh items, food items, and non-food items. Each all-day local location is sized between 1,600 to 1,800 square meters, housing about 30,000 to 40,000 SKUs, which includes, and we are very proud of, a curated selection of international brands that proves to be very appealing to our customers and that we maintain um, for the discerning Filipino consumers. And so now I will turn you over uh, to our director, Paolo Villar, so that he can discuss um, our synergistic relationships. 
Thanks, Camille. Um, so just to expand on what Camille said, um, we look at, uh, obviously, it's very important uh, with the advent of e-commerce to get the infrastructure ready for the digital market. So we consider you know, expanding our digital presence to be a part of our elevated experience. We wanted to be capable of serving a fast-growing digital market. So we made our e-commerce platform allday.com.ph uh, very user-friendly and very scalable. Um, we, provide, we believe it provides a responsive, secure, and fast online shopping experience for our customers. It was launched in the pandemic uh, in June 2020, and we recently upgraded to a mobile-friendly version of the site uh, using the latest progressive web application, or PWA. We're in the middle of implementing a variety of other enhancements to our digital marketing, and we recently engaged a Gartner-recognized mobile marketing platform to support this. To supplement the digital presence provided by our own platform, we're also present in third-party marketplaces such as Lazada and Shopee, and in on-demand platforms such as Picaru, Metro Mart, and GrabHunt. Our e-commerce platform utilizes our full store network in 25 cities and municipalities across the Philippines as last mile fulfillment centers. We also have a number of dark stores and these dark stores complement our uh, live stores by serving to widen the service reach of our online stores. So of course, as Camille also mentioned, uh, a key advantage of the of all day is basically the synergistic relationship between the Arnag, um, uh, the the Vista Land, um, Golden MV, the Villar Group's uh, real estate subsidiaries. So with that, we basically have a very uh, wide, wide ranging, geographically diverse uh, platform, you know, to offer all these services. Um, of course, Vista Land is the country's largest home builder and Golden MP is one of the fastest growing mass housing developers in the Philippines, along with uh, the premier death care developer. It's also publicly listed. So it gives all the access to available areas where we can locate our stores. So going forward, you know, um, land acquisition, business development, unlike with other retail companies, is not a problem for all day because of our um, you know, our affiliation with East Atlanta and Golden MV. This, plus the proximity to the communities are very significant advantages for all of it. Um, as you may know, convenience has become increasingly important, uh, especially with the ongoing threat of COVID-19, uh, with families now preferring to shop in areas near where they live if they are not yet shopping online. So an another, besides, um, being an advantage in terms of business development and ac having access to uh, fast-growing communities. Um, All Day is also part of the All Value ecosystem. Uh, it's a wholly owned subsidiary of All Value Holdings. And um, combined with the other uh, uh, affiliates of the All Value retail ecosystem, um, All Day provides a comprehensive retail experience. So typically in a single location, all Day is located with All Home, Coffee Project, Bake My Day, and other food concepts of All Day. This creates a comprehensive one-stop shop uh, convenience for our customers, which, you know, combined with all this, I think that adds a lot of value for All, uh, for all Day and, of course, for our potential shareholders. So, uh, so with that, I'll give it to uh, Jackie Cano, who's our CEO, uh, to give more details about um, you know, operational details for all of you. Thank you, Sir Paolo, and good afternoon, everyone. Now to discuss the key investment highlights of all day. Our business model combines e-commerce, last mile fulfillment capabilities with the traditional supermarket. We have introduced GastroGuild and Paluto that aims to combine restaurant shopping, dining or takeout, and grocery shopping. We rolled out personal shoppers shortly after the pandemic, uh, the, the lockdown, shortly after the lockdown in April 2020, followed by our e-commerce platform in June of the same year. And we have introduced self-service checkout counter that limits social interaction and helps promote health and safety protocols. 
Aldi provides world-class grocery shopping experience and targets primarily the ABC1 market segment. Our concept leverages on premiumization, loudly showcased by our store design and aesthetics, coupled with impressive layout and visual merchandising. All these to underscore our positioning in the industry as the leading mid-premium supermarket chain in the Philippines. Allday.com.ph is a mobile-friendly progressive web app, making our platform seamless, instinctive, and easy to use in all types of devices. We are the only supermarket that provides 24-hour delivery service. And to further boost our e-commerce capabilities, we have recently launched the Dark Store concept. This enables us to have digital presence on locations where we are not physically present. The Dark Store expands exponentially our e-commerce market reach. As a result, we gain additional sales with less capex and opex. We are also present in leading marketplaces and third-party platforms. And as of June 2021, e-commerce sales is at 3% share to total sales, compared to 2.5% of competition. However, if we look at isolated quarter on quarter performance, quarter two is at 4.68% and quarter three is already at 5.03%. We strategically locate our stores in residential communities and commercial projects of Vistaland, primarily where there is Camellia, Crown Asia, and Brittany communities. To date, all days present only in 25. 25 out of the 147 cities and municipalities where Vistaland is present. A clear indication that we have a ready pipeline for expansion. This confirms that our target to reach 100 stores by 2026 is achievable. In terms of synergy, we are capitalizing and banking on the proud name of the Villar Group of Companies with its massive inventory of real estate properties. And together with All Home, Coffee Project, and the list of other promising food and retail concepts, we comprise the all-value retail ecosystem, which now becomes our competitive advantage. Over the years of operating All Day Supermarket, we have established the standardized principles of store design and layout. We already identified the optimal size of a store that will maximize our efficiency. We also developed a systematic new store opening procedures and strategies. And finally, we formed All Value Training Academy to support the store expansion and employee succession. For the most part, we have made significant strides by investing on technology for our IT department, warehouse, and logistics. All day as a management team with a proven track record in running a successful business operation with keen insights surrounding the Philippine retail market. It is led by our chairman, Manny Villar. Moving on to our financial highlights, we would like to emphasize our strong record for financial growth and increasing profitability. And we will use this momentum moving forward. <coughs> This IPO allows us to fast track our growth and free up additional funds for store expansion. In addition to this, our continued relationship with our suppliers, as well as our push for premium and imported items will expand our gross margin as we scale up. Our increased operating margin and improved leverage will generate enough funds for us to continuously roll out our stores eventually reaching 100 stores by 2026. Let me now turn you over to Visari. Thank you, Jackie. Um, and good afternoon to our over a thousand viewers. Thank you for being here. Uh, I shall speak very briefly about the growth strategies of All Home and we have grouped them into four. Number one, we will be further expanding the store network. Um, as, as it's been said by uh, Camille, uh, Paolo, and Jackie, we will be adding uh, a lot of stores uh, to the, uh, with ending at 100 by 2026. And we shall be using heavily 
that network uh, uh, the synergistic relationship with our real estate affiliates towards that objective. Paolo has mentioned about 147 cities and municipalities where Camellia uh, is present. And of this, uh, and from this 147, we will be choosing which ones will be priority areas for expansion of all the uh, for 2022 we have identified an uh, uh, additional 12 stores which will bring us to 45 and um the the stores beyond 2022 are in various stages of planning but these have already been, we have started to identify already these areas uh and typically as as we have seen um the catchment uh, of all home is beyond the camellia subdivisions as as there are subdivisions, uh, as there are other developers that typically develop alongside uh, Vista land. And all of these uh, communities become part of the target market of all, of all day. Uh, in contrast, as Paulo said, other players will have to contend with looking for areas on which to build their stores. Vista Land builds the stores for us, and we uh, are a tenant of Vista Land. What is spent for CapEx is primarily for fit out, and that's uh, roughly about 70 to 80 million per store. And uh, inventory, which is typically a range of 40 to 50 million per store. Number two, we will further improve margin efficiency. Uh, and we've seen margin margins grow from 1.9% in 2018 to 2.8% uh, in 2020. And we intend to improve this further. Uh, Jackie spoke of the uh, improvement in, co in uh, the contribution of our imported brands, and this, this typically yield better margins. We are also looking at launching our private label brands in the next 12 months. And uh, by adding uh, these private label brands, they will also contribute to margin improvement because similarly as the imported brands these private label brands yield much better margins for all day we will also continue to look for sourcing efficiencies and negotiation negotiation gains from our current suppliers as we scale up our operations number three we will continue to invest in technology uh, information systems and logistic systems. We have been a pioneer in a lot of things. Uh, we are the first to implement the retail system, the latest retail system of SAP. We were the first to implement a progressive web app. We were the first to implement self-checkout counter. So we have, it is in our DNA to embrace technology and to innovate in order to delight the customer. And we shall continue to do so. Number four, we will continue to pursue initiatives to elevate the all-day shopping experience. From the get-go, ever since we started all-day, the proposition has always been an elevated customer shopping experience, and we shall continue to do that. Simple things such as adding Facebook Messenger capability to a personal shopper, or adding more services to our customer service. And more recently on the e-com side, the 24 seven delivery or the under two hours delivery for our eco. Those are meant again to delight the customer and consistent with um, the preferences of our target market. We shall continue to look for those initiatives. And we do have a market research team that uh, continuously tries to understand the recent trends and changes in customer preferences and they work with the management team to um, operationalize these things as part of the continuing calibration of the service uh, offering of all day. The proceeds of this offering will be for store expansion, uh, which will include CapEx and uh, inventory, as I mentioned earlier, and for debt retirement. Around 800 million will be allotted for expansion, and that is good for up to seven stores uh, in our immediate pipeline. Um, about 3.1 billion will be used for um, to retire our existing debt, which carry an interest rate of up to 8%. And this will free up um, about uh, 200 million uh, in cash and as well as save us or as well as uh, improve our bottom line. Um, the additional 200 million savings in interest from debt retirement will uh, fund another three stores. Combined, the effects of the additional stores and the less burden of debt service will enable us to generate uh, 
enough ca more cash flows that will allow for sustainable store expansion going forward. Uh, beyond the 45 stores, uh, based on our calculations, um, there will be uh, sufficient fund or significantly enough funds to fund to uh, answer for uh, 10 to 15 stores beyond uh, the 45 stores. Um, I will now turn you over to Camille for our concluding uh, slide. The earlier parts of the presentation, uh, you have heard what Allday has achieved in the past five years. The business model of Allday targeting the upper middle and upper income segments um, has gained acceptance among consumers, resulting in a 61% CAGR on revenues over the past three years. The continuing calibration of store offerings and store efficiency also allowed us to register an even higher CAGR on net profit of 95%. We believe we can successfully take the model forward and increase our number of stores to 100 in 2026. E-commerce is relatively in its early days of ramp up, driven primarily by the pandemic. But also, but we also think that some changes in consumer behavior, including acceptance of online as an alternative method to shop, will extend beyond the pandemic. And for that reason, we have taken the necessary steps to build our digital capability, both from a technology and fulfillment perspective. We will continue to calibrate our digital strategy, similarly as we continue to calibrate our in-store strategy. You see, in all day, we believe that Filipinos deserve a better shopping experience. And if I may borrow from the words of chairman in the past, um, while right now all day um, presents a premium uh, shopping experience, we believe that this will soon become the new standard in grocery shopping in the Philippines and that all these supermarkets and its offerings will be uh, the future of supermarkets here in the Philippines. And we have a management team that is committed to deliver value to our shareholder, to all of our stakeholders, our target market, our employees and our shareholders. So thank you very much for allowing our team to present.